Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. So my very first trip to Hamburg was in 1991, when at the age of 16, I spent two months here working at a ship chandler's called Friedrich Zenger and a ship agent called Arnold Peters. It is therefore a most particular honor for me to address you all here today, as I felt a very strong emotional bond with Hamburg ever since. So now in the modern world, we're very much in an age of models, computers. I ask you this, can a model evaluate instinct? Can a model detect decency? Now, I'm not saying we don't need models, but a model cannot guide you as to the ability of a ship owner to navigate crises and prosper against all the odds. Perhaps we should not be governed solely by what is possible, but also by what is right. For when the crisis is behind us, we will all be left with the legacy of our behavior during it. Are bridges burnt? Or a bridge is built. Friends, as we all know too well in this room, shipping is a business that tends to sound a lot more glamorous than it feels, but feels a lot more stressful than it sounds. And this is particularly true when crisis hits. And as we all know well, there has been no shortage of that these past years. Yet crisis can indeed give birth to opportunity. No crisis endures into perpetuity. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And we at Libra have had many crises of our own. This is natural to be expected. But the more difficult it became for us, the more we reminded ourselves consciously that we are defined as humans by difficulty. We are defined by the difficult times, not the easy ones. How do you convert pain into progress? How do you give despair a direction? Even find meaning to suffering and do it with a smile on your face. So, is a crisis an excuse to surrender to cynicism? Or is it an opportunity to redouble one's positivity and one's pride? For when one is not believed in, it can actually sometimes be more effective than being believed in. Not being believed in can motivate us, fortify us, unite us, and importantly, fuel us. Being believed in creates confidence. But we need both confidence and motive to move forward. Now, at the end of the day, if we are not challenged, we will not change. And in the long run, it is rarely the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, endure, and prosper. It is the most adaptable. We must change. We must adapt. We must stay ahead of the curve of invention and innovation and always have the presence of mind to remind ourselves that one does not become strong from winning. Strength comes from adversity, hardship, difficulty. So the starting point when we set up Libra was that it was going to be impossible. And this was purposefully done to ensure and enhance constant mental agility from the very beginning. 
for we knew this would keep us sharp, flexible, impose impossibility on us daily. We also empowered underdogs with empathy. We gave opportunity to many who lacked it. And then we proceeded to set the bar of expectations on the leadership at the highest levels. At the same time, we've always tried very hard to preserve humility and encourage humanity. Now, crucially, beat the cycle and lose the market. You don't want to beat the market and lose the cycle. History is written far too late to be of use in the midst of a crisis, and it is only hindsight that is precise. Belief is the beginning of exiting any crisis, being a social crisis in Greece or a shipping crisis. So, ladies and gentlemen, the main principle of inspiration that has governed my life and belief system is a very famous and well-known quote from 203 BC. Fortuna audaukes juvat. Fortune favors the bold. Bold is what many shipping companies have had to be to survive. Bold is what Columbus had to be to give us all the legacy we all own today. Bold is what we now need to be to rise and recover from this crisis. So, let us be bold. Thank you.